To write the Lewis structure for KBr, let's first write K and then Br. Potassium, that's a metal, and then bromine is a nonmetal. When we have a metal and a nonmetal, we have an ionic compound, and valence electrons will be transferred from the metal to the nonmetal. So potassium is in group one on the periodic table. It has one valence electron. Bromine is in group 17, sometimes called 7a. It has seven valence electrons. In an ionic compound, we said that valence electrons are transferred. So the potassium transfers its valence electron to the bromine. Because electrons are negative and potassium, it just lost an electron. It lost a negative charge. It's positive. And the bromine, which gained that electron, now it's negative. Because we have a positive and a negative, these opposite charges attract and they form the ionic bond. To show that the valence electrons were transferred and they're not being shared between the atoms like in a covalent bond, we need to put brackets around the negative ion. You'll often see brackets around the positive ion as well. And that makes this the Lewis structure for KBr, potassium bromide. Note that this is what we call a formula unit. With ionic compounds, they're in a crystal, and they're made up of a group of repeating formula units. This is useful, though, because it shows us how the electron was transferred from the potassium to the bromine, completing the octet of the bromine and making it very stable. This is Dr. B with the Lewis structure for KBr, potassium bromide. Thanks for watching.